three fair six-sided dice are rolled. What is the probability that the values shown on two of the dice sum to the value shown on the remaining die? Well, how many ways can you obt how many how many combinations of values can you obtain by rolling three six-sided die? Well, there's six values you can obtain for the first one, six, six values for the second one, and six values for the third one. So you have 216 ways of obtaining values. Now, how many of those 216 values allow us such that allow us to have two of those values sum up to the last value? Well, Let's say the last, let's say the third value, let's say third value is 1. Is it possible for the first and the second value to add up to 1? No, because first value of 1 and second value of 1, which is all the lowest it can be, is going to give us a sum of 2, which is not 1. How about when the, when the value of the third die is 2? Well, we have 1 and 1. When it's 3, 1 and 2, 2 and 1. When it's 4, 2, 2, 1, 3 and 3, 1. When it's 5, when it's 5, 2, 3, 3, 2, 1, 4. When it's 6, 3, 3, 2, 4, 4, 2, 1, 5, and 5, 1. So there's one way, plus two ways, three ways, four ways, five ways, or 15 ways. So there's 15 ways that one, one, of, the, one of the digits is going to be the sum of the other two digits but we have to multiply this by three the reason we have to multiply this by three is because let's consider case two one one in this case the first die could be two or the second die could or the second die could have the value of two or the third die could have the value of two so there's three different possibilities for which the value of 2 can be given to some die. So we have to, the actual probability is going to be 3 times 15 over 2, 16. Now what's this going to be? That's going to give us uh, 72, 5, 20, 24, or 5 over 24, known as D.